Travel Like Birds of a Feather presents Top 10 National Parks in the United States. Come along and we will show you some of the most beautiful, awe-inspiring national parks that the United States has to offer. We hope to inspire you to travel and enjoy nature. Tell us in the comments also if you have been to any of these places. Like and subscribe. Thank you. Grand Teton National Park, located in Wyoming, is a masterpiece with mountains rising up to the skies. 200 miles of trails are ready to be endured. Float down the Snake River, take a tour to see wildlife such as elk, bison, wolves, bighorn sheep, eagles, and moose. Take a drive to take in the remarkable scenery. In winter, take on one of the ski slopes or snowmobile the terrain. Walk through the town of Jackson Hole with its many shops and restaurants. The park covers over 300,000 acres with the number of people visiting around 3 million. Grand Teton became a national park in February 1929. The entrance fee is $35 per vehicle. The Teton Range is the youngest mountain range in the Rocky Mountains. It's thought to have began between 6 and 9 million years ago. The Grand Teton is the largest peak in the park at 13,770 feet. In the description below, we linked travel accessories we cannot travel without. Noise canceling headphones, backpacks to hold your gear, and the essential guidebook for each destination. Enjoy! Hawaii Volcanoes National Park on the island of Hawaii has the largest active volcano in the world. The park spans 300,000 acres and has seven ecological zones. Becoming a national park in 1961, each year, over 1 million visitors experience the wonders of this park. When you arrive, it's recommended that you visit the Kilauea Visitor Center, which has interesting facts, exhibits, and safety, weather, and volcano status information. This park has two active volcanoes, Mona Loa and Kilauea, which are 22 miles apart. Mauna Loa is the world's largest active volcano, reaching 13,677 feet. It's been active for nearly 700,000 years, with the most recent eruption in 1984. Access the summit by Mauna Loa Road and Mona Loa Observatory Road. Kilauea Volcano is thought to be the world's most active volcano. Crater Rim Drive takes visitors to viewpoints where they see into the crater. Several locations on the drive have trailheads to amazing hikes. Glacier National Park In Montana, on the border of Canada, is home to 26 glaciers, the largest being Harrison Glacier, around 1.6 million square meters. Sadly, due to climate change, the glaciers are rapidly declining. The official symbol of the park is the mountain goat because of the abundance of them on the edge of steep mountain cliffs. There are 762 lakes in the National Park, Lake McDonald being the largest, 9.4 miles long by 1.5 miles wide. You can hop on a jammer in the park, which is a red stylish bus introduced in the 1930s that can take you on a tour. Glacier National Park's Going to the Sun Road is a must. It is 53 miles and has incredible views. It crosses the Continental Divide. 
Wildlife is plentiful in the park. 71 species of mammals, 276 species of bird, and 1,990 total species of plants. The park has 175 mountains, with Mount Cleveland at 10,448 feet being the tallest. Bryce Canyon National Park is in Utah. It is technically not a canyon. It is made up of 12 natural amphitheaters that eroded into the Pond Sonnet Plateau. In 1875, Ebenezer Bryce moved into the area and completed a seven mile ditch for the area. To make more accessible, Bryce built a road into the cliffs at the junction of Pariah River and Henryville Creek. This had the locals calling it Bryce's Canyon. The National Park protects three wildlife species, which are the Utah Prairie Dog, which they host an annual festival for, the California Condor, and the Southwestern Willow Flycatcher. When you visit, you can't miss the hoodoos, natural geological pillars made of sandstone that make the landscape so beautiful, especially the orange hues at sunset. Humans began passing through Bryce Canyon 10,000 years ago. Bryce has some of the darkest skies offering visitors on clear nights breathtaking stargazing. A popular, not so difficult hike is Queen's Garden Trail, 0.9 miles one way. It is a wonderful trail to see the inside of the park. Make sure to stop at Sunrise Point and Sunset Point for excellent views that are easily accessible. Great Smoky Mountains National Park is the most visited national park in the United States with around 10 million visitors. It has hiking, fishing, horseback riding, and seeing important parts of history. The town of downtown Gatlinburg is booming with people and has lots of restaurants, bars, and fun things for kids, including Anakista. This national park is very kid friendly. The Smoky Mountains are some of the oldest mountain ranges on earth estimated to be 200 to 300 million years old. There are more than 800 miles of hiking trails. Smoky Mountains has more than 90 historic structures that you can visit. It has around 2,900 miles of streams that you can fish in. There is no park fee thanks to a contract between Tennessee and the federal government saying there shall never be charge for access to the park. Smoky Mountains is the salamander capital of the world with 30 different species. The park has a large diversity of plants and animals. Top attractions are Cades Cove, Newfound Gap, Klingman's Dome, and Abrams Falls Trail. Zion National Park Named by Mormon settlers in late 1800s, with Zion meaning sanctuary or refuge. In 1909, President Taft named the park Mukun Tuweep National Monument. The 229 square miles sits in southern Utah. Around 4.3 million people visit each year. Conveniently, it is just three hours by car from Las Vegas. It has many hiking trails. Angel's Landing may be the most notorious being known as the scariest hike in America. If you dare, it has 2.2 miles of switchbacks up steep hills, sheer drops, and exposed edges which you only can go by holding on to a chain. You will be rewarded with 360 degree views, 1500 feet above the canyon floor. 
It has one of the largest freestanding arches at 287 feet long, only second to Landscape Arch in Arches National Park, named Kolob Arch. Summer temperatures can reach over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Winter can range from 50 degrees Fahrenheit to below freezing. Zion was carved over millions of years by the Virgin River. The trail named the Narrows is at its floor in 20 to 30 foot wide towering above you cliffs. The fun part is you hike for miles in the water. Arches National Park in Utah is spectacular. It has the highest concentration of natural stone arches in the world. The park was originally underwater and the water helped mold the landscape of arches by erosion. Temperatures can fluctuate from zero degrees Fahrenheit to over 100 degrees Fahrenheit and can change in a day 40 degrees, being that it is the high desert. Balanced Rock, a desert rock, weighs 3,577 tons and is 128 feet tall. It weighs as much as 27 blue whales. Landscape Arch spans 306 feet and is the longest arch in North America. One of the most iconic things to see in the United States is the delicate arch made of Entrada sandstone. It is visited by 1.4 million people every year. It stands 60 feet tall and is really amazing at sunset where a lot of photographers wait for the perfect shot. Stargazing is also a great experience. The beautiful orange red hue comes from iron oxide. We had a hard decision between Katmai National Park and Kene Fjords National Park for our third choice. It is located in southern coast Alaska. There is no park fee. The park received around 350,000 visitors in 2019. It became a national park in December 1980. It covers around 699,000 acres. 51% of the land is covered by ice. A very popular reason for coming to the national park is for bird watching. It has a large variety of birds, including puffins. There is around three dozen glaciers within the park, which originate from 700 square mile Harding ice field. It has five tidewater glaciers, two being Holgate and Aalik glaciers. You can look into many fun excursions like kayaking up close to the glaciers or taking a boat tour or even riding a jet ski to take in the sights. Alpine glaciers such as Exit near Seward and Piedmont Alpine Glacier, Bear Glacier, which is the longest glacier in the park, are also popular to catch a boat or kayak to see the area's rich marine life. If you are lucky, you'll catch a glacier cave, which is a large chunk of a glacier breaks away from the large mass. We have a video on more details on this national park, in-depth information of glaciers, excursions, and places to stay. Check the link in the description. Yellowstone National Park is located in the states of Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. It is 3,472 square miles, around 2 million acres. It has 500 active geysers, more than half the world's geysers. The park has 10,000 hydrothermal features, including geysers, hot springs, mud pots, and fermaroles. Yellowstone has the largest concentration of mammals in the lower 48 states, with 67 species. Also, 285 species of birds. Yellowstone Lake is the largest 
high elevation lake in North America. There is around 1,000 miles of hiking trails and around 300 waterfalls. It houses 720,000 museum items, such as rare books, manuscripts, documents. Must-sees are Old Faithful, Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone, Lamar Valley, and Grand Prismatic Spring. And our number one pick is Grand Canyon National Park, located in Arizona. It is the United States' biggest attraction. The canyon is huge, around 1,900 square miles. Elevation spans from 2,000 to over 8,000 feet. There are around 1,000 caves in the park, with only one open to the public today, which is the Cave of the Domes on Horseshoe Mesa. It is the second most visited national park in the U.S., just behind Great Smoky Mountain, bringing in 5.9 million. Popular spots are North Rim and South Rim, which are only 10 miles apart. But if you drove, it would end up taking around five hours at 215 miles. The Colorado River's erosion created Grand Canyon over six million years ago. The landscape is one of the most studied around the world with fossil records. There are many amazing hikes, but also rafting down the Colorado River, visit to Havasu Falls, or stargazing. A fun thing to do is visit the Skywalk, which is a horseshoe-shaped steel frame with glass so you can see down 70 feet to the canyon rim. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hopefully you enjoyed our list. Tell us in the comments if you have been to any of the national parks mentioned. Also comment if there are other national parks you'd add to the list. We have attached links in the description on some of our essential travel gear including headphones for the plane, bags to carry equipment, and guidebooks for the national parks. We will be making new content on each national park and other destinations. If you have an idea for us to do a video on, or want us to create a detailed itinerary for your trip, comment below. Stay tuned.